Hey guys and welcome to Farm Simulator 2017 on Thornton Farm. We have a demo on the farm now and if it all works out well we may be getting rid of one of our tractors as a straight swap because the value of them is exactly the same. Here we have the 730... Well, 70, 7030-10R. 30, oh dear. It's been one of those mornings. She's a beaut. We work alongside ni very nicely R8R. Beautiful tractor. Beautiful tractor indeed. So, what is the plan for today? Well, off camera, I decided to uh, do a bit of. do the bailing up, and I had no need to show that, so. I thought that I would do that, and this is the out sort of outcome of it. We got roughly around 60 bales there, I think, give or take, in that pile. And we need hay. We need hay real bad for the winter. So that is what we're going to be doing today, haymaking. Now, the tractor, like I say, which is the one that's probably going to be going, is our class here. Hasn't got too many uh, sort of hours on it. We may have to pay a little extra. We don't know yet. Time will tell on that one. I just need to spin this around so I can get to the front of it. And we'll have to move the class. So we may end up taking that to the dealer today if we get the phone call then we'll be heading off to the dealership probably be I irony because I guess what tractor I plan on using to tow it there that'll be this bad boy so I must say from the little I've used it I am very happy with it didn't tell you guys about that tractor or the plans to get it but we are definitely happy with our new tractor, that is for sure. So we'll tuck this away nice and safe and sound. We'll have to give it a wash. Yeah, maybe the last time you see this for a little while. Maybe a tractor that comes back on the farm at some point as a tractor that visits, I don't know. Whether they'll keep it around for themselves or try and sell it to a local farmer. Who knows? Who knows? Right, let's get our beacons on. We've got all of the stuff connected up. Got plenty of fuel. And we'll head on down to the meadow. Definitely need to look at getting another grass field at some point and purchase that from another local farmer. I have heard the delivery of our cows is going well and they're expected possibly towards the back end of the week. I don't know yet. Uh, if not, if we may not be able to take them this time around, then we'll see what we can do. We are going to be running on some... Wow, tight crop. Because we've only got this one field and we need some silage and all that good stuff and we can't make any. So I don't know what we're going to do. Alright, let's get this all switched on. Rear mower is activated. Front mower is activated. Drop that, drop that. And away we go. So we should be getting a good amount of bales out of this lot. I'm going to try and do my best to get the best possible performance out of this field. I do want to say too, uh, just to fill you guys in with some updates on the farm, we got the contractors in and they have harvested the sugar beets. We may have to help at some point loading them up before the winter does set in. Of course we are. Beginning of the 
autumn month, so we've got some time before it gets too, too chilly. Outside and get them lifted and put into a barn. We do have some in a barn already. Uh, but we got word that we can use the the machine to pick them off the field, which would be nice. Um, probably end up just using a tractor and a dolly trailer, or possibly even look at renting a HGV for that task. Don't quite know yet. We shall see. Beautiful colours of autumn. Just look at the look at the surroundings. Keeping an eye on the, everything back here. Actually, with this tractor, what we can do we just stop here. If I reach down and grab this lever. Yep. I always forget it does this. But it's not real too much use for us there, because, well, we don't need it looking that way, so... We'll just reach down, grab that there, spin back around. And that is basically for any of you guys are untoo sure of what that is. It's basically to stop fatigue when uh, you're looking backwards. Let's go to the outside camera view here on the old GoPro. Now I'll probably just do a couple of headlands. No need to do anything crazy. Oh, I've still got my beacons up. Switch them off. It's any warning lights for the beacons being on, actually. Could be missing something down on here somewhere. And then that now. Yeah, I think I missed a little there. Did I? Yes. Don't want to be missing too much. Just want to be nice, straight cuts. I may may test out the GPS in this in a minute after we've done this next headland why would you use that you, you may say well one we've got a test to make sure it's working A-OK -okay before heading off to the dealership and two well testing it I guess <laughs> I don't know uh, I just want to get it much possible out of this field and uh, Dried off. Hopefully, hopefully I can dry. And dry it. All things being equal, we should be golden. So we'll do one pass here on the top of the headland. We'll lift our mowers up, spin back around, and get our green star fired up. and sit and adjust that. So once we get that set up, we'll be back at you. Well, we've got the course and the line set, hopefully. We ride on the money. Any little odds and ends we miss, we will be going over, trust me. I like this patch here. It's hard when you've got the shape of the field to get it all lined in. And, uh, the adaptive curve would be a nice feature on this model. That was a little hiccup. Our mowers didn't go down. Hmm. Now I'm not too sure what type of grass is going on there, but uh, yeah. Looks like we have a little shade issue with the grass. Who knows? Who knows? Alright, let's drop down our rear decks here. Apparently they were on the ground. I don't know. There we go. Now we should be set up quite nicely. Here's hoping. And up and down we go. The fuel usage doesn't seem too bad on this. Seems like we're about 
56. Leaders are now, so not too bad. We may have to come off course here and go around. Yep, we'll just blip off of it. Like a so. And of course, a wind rower. It won't matter. Bailing it will become the issue. Doing the t tight turns. I'm just worried that it's not going to be dry enough. We're doing this early in the day, so hopefully, hopefully, we can get it dried up in a good time. Moving up, doing it, doing it, doing it, blah, 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 blah. go to breakneck speed. This uh, machine is doing quite nicely. We're doing 14 mile an hour, 2025, yeah, 52 RPM, not too shabby. I'm let it roll along here. That's that engaged again. Very nice. Seems to be working spot on. Now I don't know what machine we'll use for the heading. Uh, probably use the vent or something along those lines. Don't need a big machine. So the fence seems the uh, reasonable reasonable tractor there. I think our sheep are okay. We'll go through and check them out. I believe they've got plenty of water and grass and all that good stuff. Definitely top them up before winter hits. Because they'll need hay to uh, make it through the harsh, cold winter's months. Although, we are in the UK, so who knows what the temperatures are going to be. Uh, probably be nothing but rain, no my luck. So of course, as I said, we have completed and Got the bales done up in field 13 there. So that being said, we need to do some field work, which I'll probably leave until mid to late autumn. I don't think we need to plant anything. I need to kind of figure out nutrients and all that good stuff in the field there. What's been taken away and what needs bringing back. Unfortunately, times like this, I wish I had the animals to hand right now for manure. Especially for the grass, put some of that back into there, make the grass grow even better than before. So we've probably got uh, maybe at least five more passes. And the next pass we'll have to contend with the power poles there, or the power lines. Which isn't too bad to do. You can just spin around it like so. And off we go. And I'll just do that. Going around it with the wind rower shouldn't be too bad. We'll probably get some leftover grass. But that will eventually rot down and become back into the grass, which is nice. Whoa. Come on. That was weird. That was maybe GPS kicking in where it shouldn't have been, really. Okay, and of course, don't need to really worry about going around the telegraph pole now. It's already done. And there we have it. So what we'll do is we'll switch this off now, and we'll be back, I guess, once we get to heading. Well, once we're doing that, it won't take as many seconds at all. So, catch you guys in a, a few. Wow. Well, you know, I I, I I just couldn't help myself. I had to break out the John Deere again. So here we are. We're back in the John Deere. 
And I thought I'd stretch its legs as a head and see what it can do. And we'll probably get it in the field cultivating. Uh, of course, we got our heavy pulling tractors for plowing and all that good stuff. And if needs be, we'll get this in the field doing it. But it is something that uh, well, we'll just give it a good trial. I did get a phone call too. Yep, that phone call come through. It's it's a sold deal. Just need to clean up the class, and it's on our way back to the dealership. A uh, win-win for me. Pretty much a win for them too. It's rock solid tractor and still has next to no hours on it. So that's awesome. They've done that for me. Turn here, and now this is where it gets kind of awkward with the uh, hole here. And around, around we go. Oh, sorry there, guys. We had a uh, never phone call for come through, but. That is part of the business life, I guess. Some stuff that, well, you guys can't hear. So we'll head this a little bit more. Of course, I'm not using GPS for this. There's really no need whatsoever. Now I've got that little cut coming in there. I'm going to have to follow that through all the way down here. Which is a bit of a pain. Well, that's all right, I guess. Uh, make sure we get that edge there. And lift. And drop. Whether there's any point in doing that. And we missed a piece. I'm not too sure because how long it takes to raise the darn thing. And back up the row. No, I don't know about you guys, but the doing hay work and this stuff is some of my favourite, actually. It's just kind of relaxing doing this. Don't need to concentrate too much on what you're doing. I'm going to try and get a level here. So we'll come back and do that section. But I want to get that. I'll get it so it's level so I don't need to have to keep on doing like a little dog leg. Tractor seems to be going along quite nicely though. Definitely pleased with this. Bit of overlap, but hey, we'll be able to get that little section there. So the way I'm looking at it, as long as I'm keeping two rows off to my right hand side we are golden yep about that yeah so two rows just off from the tyre and we're spot on. We got about one more pass, if that. Now that'll kick over so I can get that stuff. Now I'm hoping the yield is going to be very nice from this area. We'll leave it to dry up. And we'll probably go take our class in. Get that out to the main store or the shop, probably in their workshop area. Oh, that's already got this thing to deal with, so we'll deal with this quickly. And around we go. There we go. The grass uh, looking either side there. And the amount of material we have on the ground seems a lot better from last time. 
This is our second cup this season. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get a third in. It would be nice, but I don't think we are. I may have if I cut it earlier. Uh, I hear noises. And that does not sound like a tractor. Of course, we're on a part of the field where I don't think we can see it. There it is. And we've got quite the embankment up here, too. To have to deal with, but we've already been around once. And this here is our second to last pass. Now, I did notice I just missed a bit, which I'll spin back around and grab. So, as I've said, the amount of material on the ground. I might as well make the most of it. I, I really need to make the most of it. I can't waste anything. And I think the spot that I said we'll miss for the time being is just up here. And I'm not too sure how many wind rows I'll get. Probably a couple. Ah, there it is. Like I said, I'll leave this on the ground for a little while. May see if we need to take care of the sheep and all that good stuff. If push comes to shove, towards the latter end of the year we could also mow their area, but I think the yield would be extremely poor. Alright, we'll go back to the yard, give this stuff a, a little wash. When I find my gate, oh dear. Got our beacon on and we'll murder them down. This tractor does get up and boogie. Definitely like the speed behind it. Mmm. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, some things don't change. I'm still going to leave those in. Ah, uh, the dairy. How I miss having cows soon. Got to be prepared for them though. Don't want to rush into things. Definitely don't want to rush into things. We could fundamentally get started on the uh, pigs too at some point. We'll see if we can dra track down a cheap load of stock. But whether we can or not, time will tell, I guess. Right, shut that. Still got our beacons off. Those mud puddles at the beginning of the field are brutal. Now the John Deere will, will clean up as it's going to be a while before we're back in the field, I think. But we need to go show this off down at the yard. We may even put a uh, decal on that at some point. I don't know yet. We'll see how hard that is. And in we are. Right, let's get this fired up, we'll park it up, and get all loaded up in the, the class. Alrighty, here we are. Does sound a nice tractor, this one. But, definitely time to go. We got, what, 5.2 hours? So it's it's barely broken in. Barely broken in. We'll leave it fired up there. Just give it a quick pressure wash. Get all the mud off of it. So dealer doesn't need to do anything, get up and out all up in there. Yep. Clean off the front grills, the windows. Yeah, it's just looking, looking beautiful. And 
And now head her onto the ramp. Can we make that turn? No, we can't. We do have a weight. I believe I've got that on the fent right now, which is a class weight. Didn't come with a tractor. Uh, it was an optional extra when we got it. But I think I'll keep it around. It's a nice looking weight. It may have the brand class on it, but hey, we'll definitely keep it around. And there she is, the chariot. So hopefully we can load this up without too many issues. I don't think we will have any, honestly. It should line up pretty much spot on. Yep. May stick over just a hair. As closer we get, the more weight you can see being put onto the John Deere. So what we'll do is we'll come back here. So the weight's over the axle of the trailer. Well, axles over the trailer. Axles over the trailer. Uh, how even does that look? A little more that side. Oh dear. Oh dear. Can we, can we bring it back? Mm. Diff looks. She's on where she's staying. Well, do you guys think I'm really going to show you all of my tricks of the trade? I don't think so. I do not think so. So we'll get this loaded up. And head her down to the yard. I'm just thinking the route to take, which is going to be the best for us, and I think straight out here and off to the right. Did think about going up there, but don't want to cause any issues with that turn. Even here. I can anticipate some issues, so we will kick it out over here. And hopefully we'll be okay. Yep. Right on through. And it looks like we've got a class tractor following right behind us, really, really closely. I wonder why. As our sheep, they should be doing okay. We'll probably stop in and check out how they're doing on the way back. They should be okay though. I don't think there's anything we need from the store. Now I've got this tractor down here with the trailer. I'm just trying to think. Uh, I think we're good. For the time being anyway. That's the problem coming out of that road. I need all of the road. Even turning it here, I need a good portion of it. So, here we are. The end of an era. And I think it's the end of our video for today. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Kicking it real right now trying to do a bit of role play on this one we'll see how long I last doing it and of course there will be a mod video mod review video of this 7r later today or uh, should it be recorded right after this and in the morning so we will say a fond farewell to our class I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and we'll be back tomorrow with I think drumard I believe mm-hmm so catch you guys later see ya